to the concert yesterday, his songs, and what I'm going to say, cross over. The question is, I'm a big rap fan, but I'm white, and I get a lot of hate. <clears throat> what kind of tips do you have for being an African American man singing crossover, not being totally R&B, hip hop? How is that working, and how did that work for you? Yeah, great question. Because I'm white, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a rough comment. Hard time. Just over the weekend. Um, it's freezing. <laughs> no, that's a good question. And it goes back to what I talked about earlier. Passion. If you have that passion and belief, it doesn't matter what anybody says. Because you believe it. And you believe that you can do it and that you're supposed to be doing it. Now, here's, here's the other thing. When, when those of us decide to step outside of what people's normal perception of what we're going to do is, we have to be a little bit better at it than other people. So your responsibility becomes a little bit greater than maybe someone else in a different shade of skin. Take, take, take for example, Eminem. In my opinion, arguably one of the best rappers to ever do it. But he had to do that. He couldn't have been mediocre, you know, like maybe a black artist could have been and had success. He, when he came out, he had to be killing. He had to have something different to say. He had to be unique. He had to, you know, he had to believe in himself for sure. But he had to really separate himself and say, doesn't matter that I'm white. I'm good. And I'm going to prove it to you in these hit records that I'm making. That's what he did. So if you happen to, if you want to follow that suit, look at his career. Go study what he did. Study the um, problems that he faced. You know, answer, go answer yourself those questions. And ask yourself genuine questions. Am I good? What can I do to get better? You know what I mean? Is that your question? <laughs> what can I do to get better? You know, how can I push myself to separate myself? You know, because I'm, you know, like you said, I'm a bit of an example of that. A lot of my album is like folk music and rock music, but I've always loved that. You know, when I was growing up in high school, I was listening to Pearl Jam and, you know, Lenny Kravitz. You know, I, I watched him because he was kind of doing what I wanted to do. I was like, oh, okay, that was my example to say, oh, it can be done, you know? So find those examples that will help you to tune everyone else out and say, nope, I'm doing that. I don't care what this, I don't care this negativity is coming to me and saying, why are you doing that? Why are you white and rapping? That, that that's not gonna work. You know, why are you black doing folk music? You trying to be the black Billy Joel? What, what, what you trying to be? And I'm like, yeah, actually I am. <laughs> Glad you said that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, oh, it goes back to that belief. Sure. Um, I, um, I just noticed, like, on both your album and on Bruno's album, everything, like, you guys just go through so many genres, and it's, like, it's so cohesive. Like, um, I, I listen to the albums, and it's, and it's like, you know, it's, it's an easy listen, even though you guys are going through all these genres. How do you guys, like, make that so... I guess seamless, like so cohesive on one album. <coughs> Somebody might listen to it and say, well, this is all over the place. What is this? Well, I think that's what it used to be. Like when me and Bruno first were coming up, we were that way. So I, we would have this demo of songs that Bruno was singing. I would take him to these labels, and it was all over the place because that's what our likes are. You know, I like rock, I like reggae, he does too. And we. We prayed that we wouldn't have to change. We were like, you know what? Why can't we do that? Why can't we be what we want to be? Why can't we have a reggae song and a rock song? And a, who says that we can't do that? That's the, those are the conversations that we would have when we would go to the labels, and every single label would say, you're too all over the place. Pick a lane. 